On Friday, I released a video profiling Dr. Dean Ornish's landmark new study in the leading peer-reviewed Alzheimer's translational research journal, a randomized controlled trial showing that a plant-based diet and lifestyle program may significantly improve cognition and function after 20 weeks in many patients with early-stage Alzheimer's disease. About 70% remained stable or actually improved in the plant-based intervention group, whereas in the control group about 70% got worse, and not a single person got better. But no matter how significant the results, the dry statistics just don't convey the human impact. Many patients who experienced improvement reported regaining cognition and function they had lost, but how does that actually translate into real life? Well, for example, several patients in the intervention group reported that they had been unable to read a book or watch a movie because they kept forgetting what they had just read or watched and had to keep starting over. But after the plant-based diet and lifestyle changes, they got better such that now they were able to read and watch shows again. One individual reported that it used to take him weeks to finish reading a book, but after participating in the study, he was able to do it in a matter of days. Another participant, a former business executive, reported regaining the ability to manage his own finances and investments. It was so much a part of my life, he said, who I am and who I was. It was hard saying that part of me was just gone. But now I'm back to reconciling our finances monthly. I keep up to date on our investments. A lot of self-worth comes back. Another one said that for five years she had been unable to prepare their family business's financial reports, but now she's doing so accurately. A deep sense of identity is returning. It's given me a new lease on life, and yet it's a familiarity and something I've always prided myself on. I'm coming back like I was prior to the Alzheimer's disease being diagnosed. I feel like I'm me again, an older but better version of me. But even words are hard to describe such transformations. One of Dr. Ornish's study participants gave us permission to share his story. Dan Jones is a musician at military events and parades who was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. What did you notice that you could do now that you couldn't do before? Well, for one thing, I had a set of uh, about eight tunes that I played in the parade. Right. And I could just go straight through them from one into the other. Um, I played for an hour and a half without stopping, I think it was. It was pretty close. They moved darn slow in that parade. <laughs> I was leaving them behind walking. I kept having to stop and wait for them to catch up. Was that something different? Uh, yeah. What you know, was? Well, that I could remember the order that I could make the transition from tune to tune without messing up and getting confused about which tune I was playing. Those were all problems I'd had when we were playing at the, the graduation ceremony. You know, I'd, I'd forget which tune was coming next. I'd get worried about it, and I'd start making mistakes. Um, and this just went like clockwork. A lot of it had to do with practice, but. The tunes we played before, I played hundreds of times. And I just, it was, I was messing up. And in the parade, I hardly messed up at all. And you were messing up because you had a hard time remembering? Because I had a hard time remembering. I, I'd get confused about different tunes. It, it was just, it was really, yeah, it was not a pleasant experience. It was unpleasant enough that, like I said, I went home and I put them down. And now? Now, um, it was one day a couple of weeks ago when I really had the drones in tune. And it was in the evening, I was out on the front porch playing, and it was just so beautiful. I played for two hours. I just oh. stood there and played. What are you feeling now? Joy? No. <laughs> no, just happy. You know, women always say because they're crying because they're happy. I'm crying because I'm happy. <laughs> it was just, it was so nice to be able to do that again. 
And did that make you feel better about yourself too? It did. In what way? Um, I just felt like I, you know, I could do something. Like um, I, I had worth again, so to speak. Um, something that was important to me was given back. Here's what the head of Harvard's Brain Center at Mass General had to say. Big Pharma has invested billions in the effort to find medications to treat the disease, but only two Alzheimer's drugs have been approved in the last 20 years, one of which has already just been pulled off the market, and the other is minimally effective, extremely expensive, and often has pesky side effects, such as brain swelling or bleeding into the brain. In contrast, the intensive lifestyle changes implemented in this study have been shown here to improve cognition and function at the cost of, like, buying broccoli, and the only side effects are positive ones.